Recording in progress. Thank you very much, uh, host. Sajid Sukumar. Uh, with all permission. Good morning to all. Morning. Welcome to District 116 training station called as Foundation, the Foundation. I'll say that one thing. It is a bit uh, new to all, maybe those who know Google very well. A person who has added, we say in Toastmaster, add four members, again add four members. But uh, one person whose name is Xion Chenna, who had his family, 39 spouse, that means it's become one club. Further, 94 children and again, third generation, 36 grandchildren. So with all this, he has got 181 member in his family. And it is in India place called Mizoram and his village is famous for tourism due to his largest family in the village. So with this, good morning to all and welcome to District 116 training, the foundation. As we are sitting at home and enjoying our coffee on the Friday morning, I'll say that there is no need to silent the mobile because Today, we have our host, Ranjit Sukumar, and he will mute the all screen. And I am Toastmaster Pradeep, District 116 Logistic Manager on behalf of District 116. I welcome you all. Our first and foremost mission is the district mission. We build new club and support all clubs in achieving excellence. With that, our hashtag is every member matter. So without members, we can't lead. So online rules are there. And keep your mic off and camera on when you are speaking. Speakers are kindly requested to refrain from a taboo topic called sex, religion, and politics. For better experience of the con this meeting, we suggest you to keep the Zoom in the speaker view. And at the beginning, it says that recording is in on. So whatever we are talking over here, it is recorded. And to open this session, I will call our District 116 Director, who says, don't react, but act. And our Division A Director says, I am not short, but the Ravi is tall. So please help me welcome a profession by engineer and a human being by his nature and admire distinguished Toastmaster Ravi Shankar J to open a formal meeting. So it's, you can open the meeting. On screen it's yours. I'll stop the chat. Thank you. Thank you, distinguished um, district, uh, our logic manager, district logic manager, Pradeep Sadie. Thank you very much. I have a gavel, Pradeep. Thank you so much. Pradeep, uh, first of all, thanks to you. you know, any meeting requires energy to start, and you put it today, and also give me a warm welcome. Thank you so much. My dear friends, to open, before I open up, <clears throat> our district is unique. 
and training is the basic. And today's inception, or you can say the foundation, how we have named it, is so important each one of us attending today. And those who are missing also, we have a record. Okay. I believe good training is priceless. So is the first training we thought interaction with the members can go on the basis of the foundation. Distinguished Toastmaster, Sabina, our program quality director, our club growth director, Distinguished Toastmaster, LML, district leaders, the powerful members of District 116, and all the important guests and trainers today. A warm good morning. I take your permission to declare this small training session from District 116 as open now. You know, there's only a, a small, a small uh, anecdote from books, many books it comes. And there was a company in which a CFO says uh, the cost is very high to train people or to interact people or aware, make awareness to people of things, what is required? And what if we train each one of them and they just, just leave and go? It applies to club as well. What if we teach so many things to people or we make them aware of things and they leave the club and go? That's when one of our good leaders steps in and says, what if we don't train them and still they stay inside the club, inside the office? So that's where we have to put ourselves into shoes today. We are here to get awareness for ourselves and to our fellow members. We have a mix of club leaders as well as members today. So this goes a very long way. The training is priceless. And there is no secret formula to training and hard work. Members do aspire to develop. If a member is not aspiring to prepare himself for better, there is no point in staying in Toastmasters. We come here to get better version of ourselves. That's the purpose of what we come. Today's training was very nicely. I should admit first thing is uh, congratulate your program quality director. She has laid a nice word, the foundation. And these three, I believe, are the three real pillar on foundation. Every club or every member has to be aware. You no, know, we all like to change and change for you. Change for improvement is only constant. I, I, I'm sure all of you will agree. Today, let us say June is July started. We are just middle of the July now. Year end, there is something we want to achieve. Probably that is a destination all of us like to go, right? That determines and direction is required for that. So is today's training is based exactly on that. I have got a few words for you to leave. Each one of you just love what you do. It's very important you love what you do. What will be the role? What will be the learning? You have to inculcate it. That's more important. Our role is our responsibility and responsibility turns into actions. On that note, my dear friends, I'm not going to take much time. Nothing succeeds like success. We have our today's train, training well planned, as I told you, by Program Quality Director. The three set of training. I leave to Program Quality Director to give you a briefing over that. Leaders of members and leaders, you don't have a choice from today other than distinguish by choice. It applies to self, it applies to a club, it applies to our society, our life being, everything. Now it's time for me to call upon your program quality director. She has given she has given me a very short, brief introduction about her. So I need to huge a very big uh, uh, run through over it. But what I liked about what I like about Sabina is something Anisha should tell us. First of all, she's an engineer. I, I love engineers because engineers make the world. I believe in that. And she's an IT professional having 17 years of experience apart from Toastmasters. In Toastmasters, what I like about this lady is she has taken all the seven roles in the club officer positions. That's what is something unique. Very few people have attempted that and done it. That makes a big transformation for herself. And transformation is the key. And here the person, please let me welcome for the transformation for the district members, your program quality director, distinguished toastmaster, Sabina. Sabina, you're on mute, Sabina. Thank you, DD. District 116 Trio, cabinet members, division directors, area directors, club leaders, beloved members of District 116. Warm good morning, everyone. How are you good all? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good Let's hear the good morning. Good. Unmute yourself. Good morning. 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 Good morning.
This is the beauty of District 116. Learning and leadership are continuous process. You agree, correct? Yes. That's why we are here on this platform. Here we are in District 116 to train all our members about the foundation, which covers the basic essentials of Toastmasters. We can say this is a must attend training. It is a great pleasure to have this wonderful audience on this Friday morning to learn together in this third training of District 116. Let me quote my own quote, dream what you want to do. Learn to action it. You will see it is transforming to what you should do to be successful. Believe in it. With that said, let me take a brief of the agenda this morning. We are here. Agenda next will go to, we have three trainings today with vibrant three trainers of District 116. First one back and back. First one will be Moments of Truth. What is Moments of Truth? Second one will be Distinguished Club Program. Third one, Club Success Plan. And there will be a question answer session after the th three training sessions, you can, uh, uh, we, it will be conducted by Toastmaster Amina. What I would um, suggest each one who have a question directly send a message to, message in chat to Amina, instead of keep on sending in public uh, to everyone, uh, write your message very clearly and send it to our question answers session host. Amina Kanun, that will be handled in that session. Then it will be directed to trainers to answer or district trio will uh, help to answer the questions. With that said, without any further ado, let's start our training, third training of District 116. Are you ready? Let's learn this morning, correct? The first trainer of this morning Distinguished Toastmaster Leo Ortega is a licensed professional force forester and environmental planner. He is the current chapter president of the Philippine Institute of Environmental Planners, Qatar, and a member of the International Society of City and Regional Planners, now affiliated with Parsons International as Geographic Information Systems Lead. An active debater and Toastmasters in 2016 with membership in several clubs in KSA, Qatar, and Philippines. Past Area 12 Director and DTAC 2020 Contest Manager. Currently serving as Vice President Public Relations of RCS Debaters Toastmaster Club, President of the Global Filipino Advanced Toastmasters, and Assistant Division A Director, Program Quality. My dear members, vibrant audience, please help me welcome with a raw, big round of applause, first trainer of this morning, distinguished Toastmaster, Leo Ortega, what is Moments of Truth? Host, please spotlight the trainer. Leo, over to yes. you. Thank you very much, Distinguished Toastmaster Sabina. Marhaba. <laughs> How are you all doing? Good morning, everyone, and good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to the Moments of Truth. Let's begin by asking you what do you think in one word, in your own understanding? Can you write it in the chat box? What do you think is Moments of Truth? Do you have that? And while you're thinking of that, Imagine your friend have watched the latest movie in town. Let's say, what's the latest one? The Fast and the Furious. And they say that it is the best movie of all time. And you, having heard that, you wanted to check whether that is really correct. And so you go to the movie house and get to know what the movie is. And thank you for your feedback, for the reality, for the reality check first impression from all the chat box 
and we are really on the same page. Now, when we go to the movie house, we see that the movie is there and we believe what we have heard from our friends. And so that is what we call the moments of truth. But what is it really? In my own words, I believe we have the same in our chat. It is expectation versus reality. It is when we get to be in the same page as what we believe in. So in other words, it is when an episode, when a person comes in contact with an, any aspect of the Toastmasters experience and forms an impression of the club's quality and service. Now, once again, let us imagine, how was it when we were invited to the very first meeting in Toastmasters that we attended? How did we feel? What are the things that we expected and what was it in reality? In Toastmasters, there are six moments of truth that we're going to discuss today. Let's start off with the first one. What do you think is the first one? And the first one, of course, is first impression. What is first impression? Imagine when someone is attending your meeting. This first impression will either make or break the comeback of that guest. Or can you turn that guest into a member? They will get to know how they were treated. Were they greeted properly when they were attending the meeting? How about you? When you were first joining a Toastmasters meeting, how did you feel? So this is actually the very first moment of truth that we wanted to check. That is the first impressions. This encourages our guests in the meeting to share what they want. And we believe that in all clubs, we ask the guests to introduce themselves and of course, to provide feedback towards the end of the meeting. So that is the first moment of truth. We move on to the second one. When that guest becomes a member, what does that new member expect? As a new member, what did you expect from your club? Can you type in the chat box? What happened when you became a new member? What did they do? What did the club do? Did they just let you do all things by your own? Or did they help you with, of course, a new member orientation? This new member orientation is something that will benefit the Toastmasters experience. The club must acquaint our new members with the Toastmasters education and recognition program and make members aware of the club's responsibility in terms of responsibility of attending the meetings. And do you still remember the Toastmasters promise? These are all the things that we inculcate to our members when they join our Toastmasters club. Are these Toastmasters inducted as new members professionally? Are these members assigned mentors? Are these members having discussed what they really want to achieve in joining Toastmasters club? Some may want to be just a confident speaker. Some may want to be a leader or some may just want just to have a taste of the coffee or the snacks that you provide in your meetings. So in this orientation, we get to get the expectation of the new members and we provide them what we have. After we have the new member orientation, the third moment of truth that we wanted to check on is fellowship, variety, and communication. Once we are there already, the new members are already enjoying what makes them stay in our club, what makes them do more aside from just attending the meetings. When members feel a variety, when members feel at home in our clubs, they, what, they want to stay even longer. When we provide them with meetings that are more enjoyable than the usual, like table topics, question and answer, and all the different settings that we do. I believe most of the clubs in the District 116 have a creative way of conducting meetings. What was the most creative way that you have conducted your meeting lately? Have anyone conducted a meeting in the park? Have anyone conducted their meeting in a dough? Or have anyone conducted their meeting in a train? 
I see all these examples of variety when it comes to giving the member the new experience that they would not expect from a Toastmasters club. When they have these new experiences, they become encouraged to really be on the dot and continuously be part of this Toastmasters club. Next, what is the fourth one? Program planning and meeting organization. When it comes to organizing our meetings, do we provide our members with enough time to prepare for their speeches or do we just assign them on the dot? Do we publicize our agenda in advance or are all the speeches delivered following the format in Toastmasters or we just wanted to say something when we do a speech? Or do we begin and end our meetings on time? These simple things might just be small in our scale, but this gives a big or tremendous impact when done properly. Program planning, meeting organization, our time is precious. So we need to make sure that we have our meetings done in the most convenient way for every one of us. Next one, membership strength. I believe that not only in District 116, but all over the world, membership is declining since the pandemic. So what is it that we wanted to use or to do in order for us to retain membership, in order for us to have enough members attending our meetings? Do we work on membership retention? Do we maintain the minimum number of 20 of, or more of the members? Or do we continually plan varied and exciting club meetings? Or do we even acknowledge those who sponsor members to the clubs? And do we participate regularly in the membership building programs in our district? There are a lot of incentives that the district provides. So let's take ownership and continue to strengthen our membership through these varied and exciting activities. And lastly, achievement recognition. At the end of those masters here, whatever you have done from the start to the end will be rewarded. So if you did not do anything, you won't be expecting any reward at all. But the district is giving us a lot of opportunities for us to have this recognition when it comes to education programs, when it comes to maintaining our distinguished club goals. But these distinguished club goals are dependent or on the new member or the member experiences that we are giving our members. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the six moments of truth. Now, once we already know these six moments of truth, what are we going to do? Or the next questions would be the three. Why? Why do we have moments of truth? How? How are we going to conduct the moments of truth? And when? When's the best time for us to do these moments of truth? When it comes to our whys, these moments of truth is a tool for reality check. Maybe we have just been absent mild all the time. We say that our club is doing well. Well, in fact, it's not. We are just sugarcoating everything. When we have the information or the feedback from our members, we have this tool for reality check. We're able to get to start or to restart from where we left off. And it renews the focus of our club. Maybe our focus is more on educational programs or educational goals, but we have a lot of that already. So maybe when we have this moments of truth, we get to learn that, oh, we need to focus on membership. We need to focus on program planning or the different aspects of the program that we are lacking. And of course, when we do moments of truth, we sustain club quality. When giving all these six moments of truth, having these metrics or the KPIs as we do in our work, we get to sustain the quality of our clubs. And that intends to become something that we are proud of when the term begins or ends. And in turn, when we foster each member's needs and to provide them with the goals and achievements that they have, it is naturally becoming our club the recipient of all this hard work of our members. And of course, 
as our tagline for this year is, every member matters. We need to deliver the best possible member experience. We are here to provide our members and we should always remember the mission that we have in our, in our clubs to support or give them a supportive environment for them to really shine and for them to really get out of their shell of shyness and for them to become confident and good speakers and leaders in the future. And lastly, it enables members to accomplish their goals. Because once we have this reality check, because members will provide their feedback, members will give us what they need or what they want. And in the end, we get to know how we are doing as a club and how we are going to help the members to accomplish their goals. So these are just some reasons why moments of truth is important. When we get a grasp of reality, we get to do something for us to move forward and to become the best, not only in our club, area, division, or district, and maybe in the world. So the next question is, okay, Leo, you already told us a lot of things, but we don't know how to do it. So how? In traditional ways, we get to have this moments of truth survey form. You could print it out. And in your club meeting, a lot 30 minutes or so, group your members into six based on the six moments of truth. And then let them fill the forms, the things that they need to check on in each of the six moments of truth. After that, they need to present what are the things like a SWOT analysis, what are the good things that they are doing, and what are the things that needs to be improved. And later on, let them discuss this one by group into the meeting so that everyone will be informed of the details of each of the six. Because when we get all the members involved, we get a better picture of what our club performs in our Toastmasters year. And we already have been using technology from time to time. And what I have been using in my club is the survey form in the form of a quiz. I believe you know about Mentimeter or you know about Kahoot quiz. These are ways to become interactive. As you can see in the screen, this is just an example of how we conducted the moments of truth in my club last year. And we get to have an impression of how they see the club when it comes to first impressions. Are we doing well or are we not doing good at all? So these are just two of the ways that we could become creative in providing our members all these facilities, whether that be manually writing them down on paper or just using their phones to answer surveys that is interactive and we could see the results real time. So this is just the two. Now, we already know why, we already know how, but the question is when? So what do you think? When should we do the moments of truth? Using the chat box, can you tell us when are you doing the moments of truth in your close master's clubs? Or are you doing it at all? <laughs> if, it's, if you have not done it yet, it is the best time to do it during the start of the term. Okay, end of the, end of the month, semi-annually. The best way for us to start it is at the beginning of the tenure of the beginning of the Toastmasters Club year. So at the month of June or month of July or August, we could be able to do it. We could do it at least once a year. But if you feel that you wanted more information, you could do it twice a year. But in Toastmasters, we recommend to do it at the beginning of the year so that we get a grasp of what have happened maybe in the past year so that the members will have an information or we, the club officers will have an information on what to do for the all throughout the year to plan what they wanted to provide the members. So that's it for our moments of truth. In the end, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So while we are at it, 
make the first impression good or the best experience ever for our members because you don't have the second chance to do it or maybe in the next lifetime. Over to you, PQD. And fabulous, distinguished Toastmaster Leo Ortega for educating us about what to do, when to do, and why to do. Thank you so much. Moving on, please note, trainers, we have our timer, Toastmaster Sam, Sambat Samasegara. Sport host, please spotlight also. We will move to the second trainer of this morning. Sahitya Reddy, a Hyderabadi by heart, a television host, founder of a school, event manager, certified deep sea diver, and now as a Toastmaster, she is on constant quest to learn and discover all that she can do. Past president of Aurora Toastmasters Club, current president of Avon Advanced Toastmasters. Nutritious food, fine clothes, and company of friends and family are her paramount. Chocolates and tuberoses are the in are an instant cheer for her. She believes life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. Yes. So make it as, as exciting as possible. Every moment is to live, right? Ladies and gentlemen, let me help to welcome the second trainer of this morning, Sahitya Reddy, Distinguished Club Program, Distinguished Club Program by Sahitya Reddy. Give a big round of applause to the second trainer. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, uh, DTM Sabina. You made my introduction sound so scintillating. I'm really thrilled to you know hear it from you. A very good morning to the most enthusiastic Toastmasters of District 116. Now, I'm not wrong if I chose the word most enthusiastic because look at you all. It's Friday morning, 8 o'clock. You've already logged in. So that's awesome. And uh, as introduced earlier, I'm Sahitya. And today, I'm going to help you understand and get acquainted with the most coveted program, Toastmasters program called Club distinguished program. So allow me to share my screen. Yes. Now, when I joined as a new member, uh, most of the time new members end up thinking uh, distinguished club program, points, goals, the uh, board on the Toastmaster dashboard, all these things are meant for the XCOM to understand and for the XCOM to handle it, right? Well, I thought so. But it, let me tell you, every member plays a very, very important role with their contribution towards the club success. The earlier you learn, the better you learn how you can contribute towards your club su success, you're in turn developing yourselves. So today's program is going to highlight how both as a member, as an XCOM, you can contribute to the success of this club success of your club. Now, before we actually dwell into DCP, I mean, uh, Distinguished Club Program, how many of you are uh, new members here? Can I have just a raise of hands? I, I see uh, the cameras are all off. Yes, but I see the icons, yes, okay. That's nice to have new members. Okay, first and foremost, let's get into the subject. What is DCP? What is Distinguished Club Program? It is an annual program run by Toastmasters International, which starts on June 1st, July 1st, and ends on June 30th. So now we are actually at the beginning of the term. So July 1st, 2023, we started this term, and this term is going to end on June 30th, 2024. Basically, DCP is nothing but a yardstick to measure the progress and success of your club. 
Now, this yard stick, uh, stick has 10 points which determine where you stand as a club. Okay. Now, why? Why should one aspire to be part of this program? Why should one aspire? Because it's nothing but a goal setting exercise for everyone. Now, can anyone, uh, either you can unmute or you can send in the chat box, why is goal setting so important? Not only related to Toastmaster, in general, why is goal setting important? Can anyone answer, unmute and answer? Keep yourself engaged and be motivated uh, in everything you do. Yes, yes, that's a great answer. Yes, uh, when you set goals, it gives you a sense of direction. It gives you a purpose. It actually, you know, motivates to do something. Imagine you wake up in the morning, you dress up, you have your breakfast, you pick up your bag, you sit in your car, you start the ignition, but you don't know where to head. That's sad, right? So whenever you want to go somewhere, you pull out your GPS, type in the destination. That is your goal. Similarly, in Toastmasters, goal setting is very important. And this DCP is going to help us set those goals. So when you set your goals, you know how much have you progressed, where have you reached, what to do, what actions to take to move forward. So goal setting is the key of this DCP program. Now, before we go far, further, like uh, today, uh, DTM Leo took us to a movie hall. Today, I want to take you all to a track field. Let's look at uh, this uh, Distinguished Club program as a relay. Yes, Friday morning, I'm asking you all to take part in a relay, but don't uh, frown because it is going to be a virtual relay. Let us imagine as members and XCOM, we are in a relay, okay? Now, the start point of the relay is July 1st, 2023, and the finish line is June 30th, 2024. Now, who is on the track? All the members and XCOM. Now, before you start the race, there are some prerequisites. There are some criteria you need to fulfill to participate in this race called, not a race, relay called Distinguished Club Program. So what is the criteria you need to qualify to take part in this? Number one, member and club should be of good standing order. Now, what does it mean by being in good standing order? The members must have paid their dues on time, submitted their membership form. Similarly, the club has forwarded the uh, dues on time and maintains a healthy membership. Now, the second criteria to qualify for this relay is the club should have a minimum of 20 members on June 30th, 2024, or should have added five new dual or reinstated members. So this is a second criteria required to qualify for this relay. Now, the third is number of new members should always be more than non-renewing members. Only when you fit into all this criteria, you are qualified to take part in the Distinguished Club program and in our relay. Now, let's come back to our relay. We are all standing there. You know the start line, you know the finish line, you know who is taking part. But the twist is, there are 10 different flags placed in your track. Now, the goal is not who gets first to the finish line. No, unlike the other relay, in DCP, the goal is who gets to pick up more number of flags before you reach the finish line, that is June 30, 2024. Now, the flags here represent the DCP points, okay? And this is virtually we are measuring flags, but each flag represents one DCP point. Now, these DCP points, how do we get them? What are they? That is what we are going to understand in the coming slide. Now, these DCP points are divided into four categories. As you can see, education, membership, training, and administration. So you see six flags in education, two flags in membership, one flag in training, and one in administration, a total of 10. 
Now, what is this education? What is this membership? How do I get points out of this? Let's understand about education first. Now, education points. Now, as members, you have joined Toastmasters, you have enrolled in Pathways, right? You selected your path. You know now you should start giving your projects, right? Every time you finish three projects or four projects, you finish one level, right? When you finish one level, you are adding one point towards the educational goals, okay? Now, how do we collect this point? Now, a uh, club has members. Now, when four members submit their level one uh, points awards, it is counted as one. Okay, that is the first point. How do we get the second point? When two members, the first number two is actually two members, when they submit level two awards, you get another point. Similarly, the third is two more level two. So we have four level ones and four level twos to be submitted. And the fourth one is level three awards, two of them. And the fifth one is either one level, or uh, four or path completion or DTM award achieved, similarly, the sixth one. So all in all, if you add up, there are six points in education, through education, you can contribute towards your DCP points. Now, what is member, member's role in this? How do I submit? What do you submit? Yes, members have to ensure they set a target for themselves. We are at the beginning of the year. So set personal targets. Okay, I will finish two levels this time or I will finish three levels this time. So be consistent in giving your projects in your club meetings. That way you also know how you're progressing and you're at the same time you're adding points towards the DCP. Now the club XCOM uh, job is to provide members with mentors help them find the slots and encourage them to give their projects from time to time. So now we have six flags in hand, four more to go. Now coming to the second category that is membership, you either, uh, they say more the merrier, right? So similarly, the more members you have, the better meetings you have, the quality increases, there is variety when new members come in. It becomes a very enhanced experience to have new members. You have more members to fill in the roles, take up uh, leadership roles. So it is important to add new members. And as you add four members, you get one point. You add four more, you get another point. So altogether, two points. Members, your job is to talk about your club, your experience, encourage others to come and uh, come as guests to visit your club. And XCOM, you have to create that conducive atmosphere where you can conduct some open houses, uh, invite new members so that you, know, you can increase your membership. The third one is purely for the XCOM. It is a training. Every year, uh, district conducts two court training sessions, okay? One uh, from June to August, between June to August, the second from November to February. It is called the COT, Club Officers Training Program, and all the elected members are advised to attend and benefit and learn from this because when the club officers are trained well, the club meetings quality improve. When the quality improves, then the retention of membership increases. So make sure a minimum of four club officers attend this to uh, you know, pick up this point, number uh, one point. Now, last is administration. Administration is when all the uh, jobs are done, like administrative jobs are submitted on time. That is on-time payment of membership dues. Now, there's a mix of two things to be done. On-time payment of membership dues, a minimum of eight members fee should be paid on time. Out of eight, three has to be you know, uh, renewing members. And also the second point you see on time submission of club officers list. Before we started on July 1st, the new committee have been elected. You have the officers list. It has to be updated before this term begins. So that is where you can get another point. So overall you've understood how to gather your 10 flags. That is 10 DCP points, right? Now, or how do you keep a track? 
what you've done, how many points you've achieved is, you know, uh, time to time to help you keep uh, track of all these points you gathered uh, during the term. Uh, these uh, uh, points gathered are constantly updated on the website. So when you log into Toastmasters, find your club, go to the dashboard, you can see how far you have progressed as a club, how many points you've achieved, how many more to go, where to focus is what you will understand. Now, end of the year, all these collected points are calculated depending upon the criteria, if the criteria you have met, and if you have fulfilled the requirements needed, they are calculated and accordingly, you will be recognized either as president distinguished or select distinguished or distinguished. Now we're wondering what is all this? Okay, I, told, I spoke about 10 flags. In case during the tenure, you end up picking up only five flags, you are awarded distinguished status. Okay, your club is called a distinguished club. Now, when you achieve seven DCP goals, then you are awarded select distinguished. And when you achieve nine or more, then you are awarded, uh, recognized as a president distinguished club. Now, let's move on to understand a little bit about this dashboard. So this is an example dashboard of one of the clubs. This is a dashboard of at the finishing, okay? Now, if you look at it, the base membership here, uh, let me point out, yeah, the base membership is 23. To qualify, the club needs 20 members. Yes, they have 20 members, so they qualify. Now, if you see here, level one, and go to this goal. So this is the point, these are the points you need to submit, and this club managed to su submit four out of four. Four level ones were needed. They submitted four, so the status is a tick. So every time you fulfill something, you get a tick mark. Then similarly for level two, more level two awards, level three, level four. So you see all the tick marks appear as and when you submit. So you can log in anytime and check. Now here again, four members were required to for that one DCP point, they submitted four. And four were required, but they submitted 12. So it's still a one pointer. And as you see, the ninth pointer is club officers list that is submitted and uh, club officers training that has been done twice, membership done. So this is the dashboard. And since they fulfilled 10 DCP points, they have been avoided, uh, aw awarded President distinguished status. So setting goals is the first step to accomplish anything meaningful, right? So members, I request all the members and XCOM to set your goals. We are at the beginning of the term and it is important you set your goals and work towards the success of the club and uh, Yes, and every member's contribution is important. So keep a track where you're heading, set your goals, make sure you, uh, you know, achieve them and take the help of XCOM members. They can guide you in any, in any which way regarding your projects or something. So, and spread the word to increase the membership base. With that, I would like to end and uh, hand it over back to DTM Sabina. Give a big round of applause. That was an exuberant, educational, and essential session on Distinguished Club Program. Amazing jobs, and thank you so much, Sahitya. Give another big round of applause to Toastmaster Sahitya Reddy. Thank you for reminding us to set the goals in the beginning. Time is now, right? Are you are still awake? Yes, energetic. 86 attendance is 86. Very good, very good. Let's move on to the third training of the session conducted by one of our past tradition directors, distinguished Toastmaster Anupama Kasibatla. She is a business management graduate and a distinguished Toastmaster with many years of experience working in the field of public speaking and personality development. She has 
won many accolades and awards in her journey as a Toastmaster. She was Qatar Talks champion for three years consequently. She has been in various leadership positions. She is a proud recipient of the Best Area Director Award and Super Area Award, Dynamic Toastmaster of the Year Award, and also many adulations to her credit. She has rendered her service even as the President Distinguished Division Director for the year 2021-22 for Division E, District 116. She has extensively worked on many youth development projects to empower the youth of India and Qatar. Presently, she is quite held up with her foundation called Anusara Communications, which empowers the underprivileged children of India and teachers, teaching them communication and leadership skills. She loves to work with children as she believes they are the future. She believes in giving back to the society and her motto is smile. And the world smiles at you. She's going to conduct the training on club success plan. Ladies and gentlemen, wonderful, awesome audience members of District 116, please help me to welcome our third trainer of this Friday morning with a big round of applause. Unmute yourself. Let's hear the sound of this round of applause. Distinguished Toastmaster, Anupama Kasipatla, Club Success Plan. Over to you, Toast DTM Anupama. Thank you so much, dear darling friend, Sabina. I would call you uh, as a friend first and then the Program Quality Director of District 116. Acknowledging the presence of our district leaders, and uh, I would say friends and fellow Toastmasters. You know, the term Toastmaster itself gives me a bubble, bubbly feeling inside because I found myself in this corner. And today when I see 86 of you beautiful Toastmasters, keeping aside family, friends, Friday morning, you are logged in, looking up at me and waiting. Oh, what is she going to tell about for the next 20 minutes? You're all club leaders. And firstly, let me congratulate you saying that amazing job, well done, that you have taken this amazing position as any of the club leader and district leaders. Now, coming to the term called planning, before I go to the presentation and start it, I just want everyone to switch on the cameras switch on the smiles, the Friday mornings, have a cup of coffee in hand, look at the screen. I am looking at every one of you. And this is going to be the most interactive session maybe you have witnessed. Let me start by asking one question to Anish, sir. Anish Sattar, I can see he's just waiting. I will ask one question. What do you think about the term plan? Just very crisply, one, one line answer. What is a plan according to you, Anish, sir? Uh, a plan, uh, there's a saying which, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I think that's the most beautiful explanation of plan that you could have. Fantastic. That means you have put a lot of thought on a Friday morning as soon as you woke <laughs> up today. So good. Thank you very much, Anish, sir. That was a wonderful explanation on the term plan. Now, anybody wants to answer quickly, one more person who wants to answer what is a plan? Just raise road, your hands, you can start. Road to progress. Plan? It's a road wow, to progress. Wow, road to progress. Yes, yes, that's a beautiful answer. Now, when I Googled the word plan, I got about seven to eight definitions of it. And I was looking for one definition which suited our Toastmasters platform, you know. And here goes that line, which I got exactly. Decide on and make arrangements for in advance. Simple, decide, make arrangements and successful plan, right? Now, we, Sahitya has talked about a relay race and you know, Leo had talked about a cinema picture. Today, I'm going to talk about a holiday. 
Now you are all going to take something or the other, a planning in progress when you are planning a holiday. You won't just pick up a suitcase and say, there, I'm going on a holiday. No, you will be planning a lot. And trust me, the housewives are more prudent in planning these things, right? So when you have decided on a plan, you just put scratch everything uh, in on a paper. And then finally, the discussions happen, the budget decided where to go, what to do and all. And finally, with one conclusion, you go ahead. Now, at the end of it, it might be a wonderful plan or okay plan. But the thing is that you planned and you attacked that aspect of being in a holiday in a wonderful mode. Now, Toastmasters journey began this year. Yay, 20, you know, it's been 15 days. We are into a new, new segment of history making for District 116. And you are the proud bearers on your shoulders having that plan called Club Success Plan. We are about 110 odd clubs in District 116. And each of you, need to put your plan on paper very strictly. You cannot progress without a plan. And that's where the club success plan comes into picture. Now, quickly going into the presentation, I would just quickly start. I hope everybody can see my presentation here. Um, let me go to the next slide. Okay, I'll just switch it on here. Okay, so what is a club success plan? The what, you know? Now, as I, I was talking about the definition, it's just a tool to achieve the DCP status. Sahitya Reddy has wonderfully explained the relay race, the 10 points, 10 flags to pick up, and quickly you're going to get into the race. It's already 15 days into the term. Quickly, each and every club has to define. So it is a major tool which decides you and your strategy to make it either distinguished Select distinguished or president distinguished. And trust me, president distinguished is easy to do. Now, 10 page planning document. It's a very simple document. I don't mind. It's not a lawyer document or anything. It's a very simple questionnaire, uh, A to Z, few lines to answer. And voila, your plan is set to go for your club. Now, it's a very important way to understand the members. Each and every club, some of the clubs started off with 12 members. Some of the clubs started off with 35 members. What do you say? The 12 member club is something less? No, everybody is again at the benchmark of achieving the 10 DCP goals this year. So what you have to do, you can compete. Now get into the history of competing. Okay, members recognize your members. They contribute a lot to this club success plan. Now, all the elements have to be incorporated with what, how, who does it, and when. Let me go ahead with the next one. Who prepares it? It's a very simple thing. Seven club officers have a meeting with your immediate past club president. Now, why I have mentioned immediate past club president? Because your club knows that the, the dynamics of your club is better known to your last president. They know the uh, negatives and the positives. Okay, advantages and the disadvantage, the goods and the improvements and the recommendations. He or she is the best one to know. Now the question to this new people who are all around today, the new officers, you might ask who is going to be the immediate club president for us? Because we have many new clubs today, right? Now who can take it up? You can consult either your area director or you can directly call your division director. These are service-oriented leaders and they are here to serve you. They will be, and I would say our district trio is amazing. You just pick up a call and trust me, they answer your question on it. So don't hesitate to put the plan on picture. So now these, who is going to do it? As I said, two many important factors, all the seven officers and immediate past club president. Now here again, it, the club success plan cannot be complete without the members input. Why? Because club success plan is deciding your goals and who makes the goals? The club members. So I would suggest all, see, 
seven club officers, if you think the only president and PPE has to plan the whole thing, trust me, it doesn't work like that. And top clubs, somewhere around 40 to 45 top clubs of District 116, the XCOM is an amazing teamwork. The success rate of amazing clubs called Philcom, ICC Eves, Aurora Toastmasters, I'm just taking few names here. Why they have become number one is because the XCOM works amazingly together to have the club uh, success plan ready. So make sure that you sit with your XCOM and consider each and every member. It's only one year that you are enjoying this term, right? So when you are given a responsibility, you must be very proud to take it up. You must be on your fingertips. Who is the member and who wants to go ahead with their goals? And they can contribute level ones, level twos, level threes. Help them to get the roles. Help them to get the speech slots. You know, this is the dynamic how the club officers have to put with the members' input and requirements. Now, how it is done? The current situation. Now, as I said, an example, 12 member club will have a different situation in place than a 35 member club, right? So you as club officers have to evaluate what is my club dynamic? And if any members are here today at this, uh, at this juncture of 86 people who logged in, trust me, your contribution is much required too. You can always support your XCOM because club needs that recognition to achieve the status of uh, distinguished, select distinguished or president distinguished. Now, during this current situations, the aspect of your club dynamics, how things should roll with 12 members have to be sit and jotted down with a pen and a paper. You cannot do by yourself. Now, specific goals, be very clear. Target 10, what's the harm in targeting, right? It's nothing, you, you're not going to go wrong in any way. Target the 10 DCP goals, establish your goals, go ahead, plan, sit and jot down which member is going to do what. Whether this member can contribute for level one, okay, tick. Level two, okay, tick. And if, you know, the journey is different from every member. Some of the members want to rush or they are very quickly, they want to do. Pick up those members and put them in for the longer goals. Add them. So this kind of uh, reputation, when it happens with the XCOM or the leaders and the members, uh, what happens to your club is your club success plan is a super hit club success plan. Now, when you are sitting down, you have to develop some strategies too. It doesn't happen overnight. So when you have about how many uh, uh, meetings do you have? If it is an advanced club, maybe they have once a month. Okay, and if it is a normal club, they have twice a month. So you have, you know, the number of meetings you have, you know, what are the members important? Of course, the added members will come in, but the present members, how can they contribute to your success? So take that into consideration. And trust me, I know the shoulders of the president and the VPE are very strong because, and very heavy too, because they are the leaders who will lead the whole show for the club. Now, when Toastmasters see the, the journey, what I have made over the years, I have trusted one thing. Toastmasters is your own journey. Even singularly, everyone's journey. Everyone, you know, and at some point or the other, if you have about, you know, 80 people logged in on Friday morning, then trust me, these 80 people are those hardcore Toastmasters who are here to learn something and achieve something. Take that. So, Take the energy from the next member. Take the energy from the next XCOM and do it together. That's the whole motto behind this club success plan. Now, moving ahead with the presentation, I'll just share the screen again. Yeah, I, as I said, I was just saying, develop strategies because as the dynamics of your club, you know it better. Okay, so if there are 12 members, plan accordingly. How you can achieve those maybe seven distinguished at the first go and at the later stage, maybe two more or five at the first go. And, and so the basic thing is you have to develop strategies. And even those two DCP goals of membership, the plan comes right here with a, with a speech craft program or inviting guests because you need the two DCP goals. So everything happens with the people around and the members. So strategies have to be in place. Now, before I share the main club success plan, I just want to ask one more question to all the people here. 
when when do you think the plan works plan is we know understand the plan now and we have all the know how of the plan we'll just take an example of the club success plan only only one line answer when do you think the plan works anyone pooja saran i can see you very excited there if you can answer me i would i would really be very happy with that i think it works when it's aligned to the purpose of the toastmasters as an organization and every individual or the member of the club fantastic that's a wonderful answer actually you have to align it that's the word i'm taking up pooja and it's a beautiful word when you are in a team work you have to there is no other go you have right you will you cannot do it alone you have to have the seven ex com members together you have to have the rest of the members you have to have the immediate past president and trust me you have to have the area director this division director and the trio with your club and they are all so uh, service oriented leaders if you have any doubt they have the phone numbers at your service trust me i have been a division director and it has always worked one thing call ask get the answers and you can do the everything okay uh, somebody has answered here on the anki has answered uh, when we work out the plan okay please find okay okay document thank you thank you amina for putting up the success plan i'll be sharing that soon now going ahead uh, the question now with most of you will be i have seen the cow club success plan document but i don't know how to fill it right and that is it just take 20 minutes not more than 20 minutes if you have all you have already talked to your leaders you have already talked to the members you have only 20 minutes you can just pick up your pen and the paper sit with the document or online and just fill it up now i'll just share the document here on the screen if uh, just uh, give me a thumbs up someone if you can see the screen um sabina can you see the screen yeah okay good so this is the document the 10 page document i have been talking quickly to go through you just have to mention your program year you have to mention your club number now these are you know all sahitya has explained wonderfully the 10 dcp goals in the four groups it is very important you know distinguish you have to pick up what is your target distinguish select distinguish or pretend to just put a tick here for your reference now going ahead to the second page which is the committee values now committee values here everybody again dynamics change for every club now what are your committee values three lines or two lines about what you exactly believe in right uh, if it is a community club like telugu toastmasters you can just write okay we believe in this kind of a value and if it is any other club like even advanced toastmasters club the, the core value changes so just make what is your value in two lines then you have how to de- make decisions simple question how will the decision will be who will be taking care of it simple line simple words just two lines how will the club executive committee resolve the opinion how do you do it talk it over right have a meeting have a excom meeting every 15 days or have a excom meeting every month simple now how will the club executive committee be ha- accountable for all its responsibilities now when the excom comes into the picture how and who is going to take over you can not only your regular duties the excom can be inspiring each other to take up the segment of maybe inspiring two more members if there are two new members sec- the, the president can ask the secretary can you just take care of those two members and secretary has to say because he or she is an most contributing partner rather than doing all the duties of the secretary they can also contribute to the success so this is the way you can delegate the responsibilities now continuing with the core values you have some questions here when was the moments of truth conducted leo has done a wonderful job again and this moment of truth has to be done twice a year before the start of the term and somewhere in the middle or an uh, you know uh, in the term so that you can reevaluate and strategize accordingly so when you just have to mention the date and now these are few simple questions to answer if your club scored two or less in the above first two questions what uh, factors lead to the club scoring itself now how can you define that you have to answer these two now whether it was beneficial not beneficial and how the members are motivated and simply you can mention in two lines what exactly are the factors you are looking forward and how you are going to implement in your club now what are the strategies your club uses to ensure members consistently and club meetings and take roles now again personal goals aside you have to take up a little bit of an advice from the members because the excom has to rely on the members to answer these questions some of them 
Now, again, you have educational goals. You can write who wants to achieve what. You can take in and talk to the members. These page cannot be filled up without talking to the members. And there are, again, as I said, there are members who want to rush and you have to have the knack and the idea behind picking up those past members and giving them some extra roles here. Let them finish the level one, go ahead with level two or three. Because in some of the clubs, four levels can be done in an year by one, one member. You can take that. So take the opinion of the members to fill up this page. Now, how are the, this is the very important educational goals uh, part of the club success plan. What obstacles keep, you know, the major obstacles because they are not enthusiastic and, you know, they don't want to come forward. They don't have the time. So many obstacles are there. So you have to write what are the main obstacles concerning the members here in the same way what are some ways to motivate members how does the excom decide to channelize that obstacles and remove them two lines about that now educational engagement how does your plan uh, you know pathways which is very important have all the members participated you have to mention few lines here how will the club prepare the new members to take the pathways who will be responsible now again in i remember in one of the clubs i i forgot the name where the pathways, uh, you know, uh, enrollment was given to the sergeant at arms of the club. Any new member walked in, sergeant at arms was responsible for them to uh, enroll in the pathways. And it worked brilliantly. That year, that particular club had about seven new members and all the seven new members were on time on pathways because of that six, sergeant at arms who did a wonderful job. So is it possible for the XCOM to do this? Yes, it is possible. This is the fun of learning, right? You are learning so much. If you are able to talk to the new members, get the things done, you have added so much for your knowledge worth. So take it up as a challenge. So this is how the engagement program works. Now, membership goals. What are the qualif qualifying requirements? Uh, what was the base and how do you want to improve? Now, what is the current, uh, uh, how to motivate the renewals? Because now we know the renewals are the most toughest job we have generally faced, any district faces in the world. So how do you want to motivate your members? Have a couple of things written here. Now, what are the club plans to go new, gain new members? Maybe have a speech craft program or have a, have, an, a, have an open house, something. What do you plan to do for your club? And stick to that plan. Because this is planning, my dear Toastmasters. And your planning will create that magic of 10 DCP goals or 9 or 8 or 7, whatever you decide on. And trust me, if you feel that I am very happy with the distinguished status, nobody can stop you. Good. You have decided. But stick to that distinguished status. That is 5 DCP goals with 20 members on your chart. Right? Now, going ahead with training goals. Uh, this is what the court training generally what uh, Sahitya has already mentioned. Round one, who attended? Round two, uh, who attended? And amazingly, our district is very fabulously doing a wonderful job over the years where we have most of the clubs going with seven out of seven, uh, you know, COT trainings done both the times. So that is, again, the work of the, the service-oriented district leaders. So this is how the pro progress for this particular seventh page goes. And now the administrative goals. Now, who is responsible for the membership dues? Generally, the treasurer and the membership, uh, VP membership takes care of this. But you have to write how are the strategies. And then maybe this page, you can just give it to a membership, uh, VP membership or a treasurer to fill it up, right? It's easy. You just give your goals, your attitude, and you're done. You're done with it. So this is uh, the thing. And then you have the signatures. Of course, everybody has to sign. And that particular date has to be mentioned there because that is a, uh, you know, an authentication that you have. The leaders have taken up the role on so-and-so date. And now, of course, the worksheet, this is the action items, which generally works for how, what is, a, what is your action item? Suppose you have an action, action item of co completing level one in particular thing. Then your DCP goal, you have to select it. Then you have to answer who is going to do it and what is the due date. Now, this is the planning for the whole of this particular 10 sheet. Take a deep breath. I know, I know it was a bombardment of a lot of knowledge. For Pooja, I know you were just scratching your head. Okay, there are so many things now to be done, but it's okay. It's fine, sweethearts. You are going to do it. Okay, but again, you just have to have the pen and the paper, the power of the magic and uh, the pen and paper is when you are jotting it down, it stays with you, right? So this club success plan is your pen and the paper and a document which seals that I am so happy to take up this responsibility as a so-and-so officer and I will strive 
to make it distinguished with 20 members on board. So that is the ultimate goal, what we have. Now coming to the last of the presentation, uh, I have only one amazing line which uh, you know, stuck a chord with me yesterday. People will go and succeed because they know what they are doing. It was done by Earl Nightingale. Now, you have goals, you have plans, and you have the uh, document ready. Now, what is your task? Your task is to come together. This whole cycle only works when all the XCOM and the members come together. Success plan, I tr trust me, anybody can fill it. RAR, I filled it, I send it, my job done. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very simple notion you can follow. But then success plan, again, there are some leaders in District 116 who go it go by it like Bhagavad Gita because that is the power of the success plan. Hold it in your hand and say, this is the plan and I am here to achieve. And that if somebody stops you from achieving your distinguished or select or uh, the president distinguished. Here, this is the only aspect you have to believe in is that come together as the club leaders and the members. Whatever Leo has said, whatever Sahitya has said, and whatever I have said today, ladies and gentlemen, and again, I will refer to all of you as Toastmasters. My dear Toastmasters, come together. You have taken up a challenge. I know that. And this year, trust me, you will come out with flying colors. About 100 attributes of you will change. If you do your job as one district or, or one club officer, 100 attitudes or attributes, and you will find it once you lock that club success plan and contribute and make it easy for the XCOM, please. The members who have logged in, make it easy, okay? So that's it from my end and signing off as a you know very, very happy person today because I connected back to District 116. Again, acknowledging the presence of the district trio, thank you very much for the opportunity. Over to you, Savina. Thank you for letting our members know about the vault. That was a training on club success plan, both on a member and club perspective, right? Now we know better who is responsible and accountable for the success of our own clubs. Who are responsible? Each member contributes and it's, it's the accountable for his or her individual growth and the success of their club. Yes, when we fail to plan, we plan to fail. Thank you so much, distinguished Toastmaster Anubama Kasipatla for a wonderful training, the essentials on club success plan. Give a big round of applause to distinguished Toastmaster Anubama. Here we are. Almost 9.30 on time, back-to-back -back essential training, the foundation on what is moments of truth, distinguished club program, and club success plan. Give a big round of applause to all three vibrant trainers who came this morning to educate our members of District 116. Let's hear that one other wonderful round of applause for all the three trainers. Now, as per the agenda, the next session is question answer session. If you want to, uh, if you have any questions, please send to our question answer host. Time is still there. To contact this Q&A session, we have a lady, a mother of two teenagers working full time as business analyst at Qatar Foundation, been in Qatar since for past 15 years and joined Toastmasters to improve her leadership and communication skills and aspire to be as accomplished as our legendary distinguished Toastmasters someday. Currently president of Qatar Mothers Toastmasters Club, VPPR of Athena International, TLI Chair for Division E and Communication Manager of District Program Quality Di Directors Team. My dear members of District 116, the most important session, question answer session, is here to contact Toastmaster Amina Kanun. Let's put our hands together to welcome Q&A host. Over to you, Toastmaster Amina. 
Thank you, PQD, DGM Sina. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I think our trainers have done a brilliant job of explaining uh, all three modules in detail and very clearly. So we have just a couple of questions from our participants today. Uh, the first question we have is from Toastmaster Anish Satar. Uh, it is the AD who takes the initiative to conduct the minutes, uh, moments of truth in all the clubs in his area, or is it the president of the club? Uh, DTM Leo, would you like to take this question? Yes, um, good morning. Usually the district assigns the area director to conduct the moments of truth in all the clubs within the area. But if the area director is not available, the club president or the vice president of education could do it for their club. Thank you, GTM Leo. I hope that answered the question. Uh, the next question we have is from uh, Toastmaster Naila Rizwan. Qualifying requirement for a club to be eligible is to either have 20 members or a net growth of uh, three members, or is it five? This question is to uh, Toastmaster Sahitya. Yeah, thank you. Very uh, pertaining question this morning. Yes, uh, my uh, bad. It's uh, There is small correction. It is three this year. Until last year, it was five. But from this term onwards, it will be three. I hope I answered the question. That's all the questions I've received. If anyone would like to ask a question now. All right, so I received one more. They would like to know about the organization structure or chart for knowing clubs, area, and district. This is from Toastmaster Mohammed Sadiq. Would anyone uh, from the district trio like to take this question? Repeat the question, Nina. Uh, I would like to know about the organization structure or chart for knowing clubs, area, district. Okay, there is a there is a chart given by the Toastmaster International. It is for doing the um, every role has got a the structure where every role has got a performance. Okay, I'll share it in the chat box shortly as we go. Thank you, Didi. Any to more questions? To add to that, for the new members, especially in District 116 also, you can see members, 20 or more than 20 members uh, in a club, uh, they forms, uh, we have a club, right? And then four or more than four clubs, three or more than four uh, clubs will form an area. Then three or more than four area forms a division. Then four or more than four divisions will form a district. Then districts will form region, then board headquarters, board of directors that goes to Toastmasters International. In District 116 Toastmasters Qatar, we can see 116 clubs as of now in dashboard. 116 clubs comes under District 116. How they are organized as a structure, if you ask, I can tell you. These 116 clubs are divided into 32 different areas. These 32 different areas are aligned in eight divisions. These eight divisions forms the district 116 finally. Then we contribute to region 11 as so on. Now DD will share the uh, chart. You will understand better from that. That's a good question. Yeah. We had a question from one of the new members asking what exactly is XCOM? Uh, so if uh, someone would like to take that question, uh, DTM Anupama. Thank you, Amina. Um, uh, XCOM is the executive committee who takes care of the club. Um, I hope uh, whoever has asked this question, they know that you know we are, we are having seven 
officers uh, from the club who take care of the club as a whole. Uh, and these seven officers are the committee, which generally, for, because to the success of any uh, particular organization or a set of, or a group of people or anything, you, we need some leaders to take care of all the know-how of the club. So these seven officers take care of it. So um, if you are new to the Toastmasters, the person who has asked the question, we have seven leaders who take care of the club. That is the president, uh, the VPE, that is the vice president of education, um, BPM, who is the vice president of membership. Then we have the secretary, we have the treasurer, we have the sergeant at arms, and uh, we have, sec okay, I forgot one. VPPR. VPPR, yes, okay. Thank you, Sahitya, the famous VPPR, of course. Uh, okay, VPPR, that is the v uh, Vice President of Public Relations, who makes you know, uh, the, uh, the, okay, anyway, not going into the role of that. These are the seven members who take care of the club. And we generally, every year, every club elects seven leaders from the club. I hope I have answered this question. Over to you, Amina. Thank you so much, Titya Manupama. I think uh, that, that's all the questions I received. I'd like to give a couple of minutes for anyone who would like to ask question, uh, a question now. Members, you can unmute yourself uh, and speak also. We have time, yeah. As I said, I think uh, our trainers did a fantastic job, very clear. Uh, as a pre new president, uh, for me also, it was very, very clear. So thank you so much to all our trainers and over to you, uh, DTM Sabina. Wonderful. Well conducted question answer session by Toastmaster Amina Kanum. Very well then, give a big round of applause to Toastmaster Amina. That is how the learning never ends. It's a continuous process. And in District 116, we make sure you are educated very well to equipped to take the roles as a club officer, as a media director, division director, and as a member, your individual goals and success is very important to us as district leaders. District 116 has that legacy to ensure that we provide the best education, the best training, the best conference, the best events to enhance their learning and the knowledge and make use of it and make use to see you as a better person. Now let's move on the next item in agenda. That is thanking notes. None other than the one of trios, club growth director, distinguished Toastmaster, Alarmel Mangay. DTM Mangay, may I please request you for the thanking note. Over to you, DTM Mangay. Thank you, thank you, Program Quality Director. Before I thank you for inviting me, let me thank you on behalf of District 116 for having such an enlightening morning. This uh, morning made it all a great for all of us. So can we give it up for all of us being here in the morning getting ourselves enlightened, energized to be there to make sure that all our clubs is there into the top of not just District 116. I want to see all the club topping the Toastmasters International. Let that be our goal. So that's the goal I'm setting on behalf of all of you. So give your loud round of cheers to acknowledge the goal set for all of us and before i thank uh, uh, the trainers the organizers everyone i have a, a small question to all the members here if you all have listened to the trainers carefully they all had something common and vital important takeaway from for all of us to make all our clubs successful. One vital factor. I don't want the answer from the trainers. A cheerful chorus answer from the members. What is that vital factor? You all can unmute and <laughs> share your answer. I don't want planning. to get Yes? Pla planning. Planning? Yeah. What is the one thing, you know, that is even more vital to be successful 
make your club successful yes it's each member each member matters wow then that's the answer i was looking for it is somewhat closer not exactly this answer what i expect yes every motivation helps to come into the club and make them success more first of all we have to motivate the those masters uh, to encourage in a such a way to come into the club and then uh, put them into the next level right. i mean we have to show a pathway to the next level great any 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 other answer no, every great, member so matters member. please every member that matter is that you know i i said it's closer but what is the exact progress of each member that is essential for the success of our clubs together so not president together work team work distinguished exactly so, all put together let me put it in one simple acronym it's vitamin yum membership <laughs> so i hope you will not you all will not forget from today yes every club should have that minimum of 20 members whatever we achieve if we don't have this criteria vitamin m is the most essential factor that could boost the dna of the club so make sure that your club is having this vitamin factor never get into deficiency yes and for all your uh, kind information and request it is a request from your your truly club growth director let us make this uh, 30 as new 20 right we all can do it and we have it in ourselves it's because of the commitment we have towards our club we i see still uh, 64 on board what more is required if we 64 are determined to bring in this change no one can stop us so before you all leave let me once again request all you to make sure that we don't miss the opportunity of renewing our club members before july 31st where we can uh, help them to do their renewals in the old uh, fee structure that is 45 dollars that that is for the term october to march we can prepay before 31st july so this is one more reminder and for the good news of the new members you can pay for two terms you can pay until september 24 to make sure that all the clubs get distinguished yes and don't think that i'm bragging too much on membership because i am club growth director it's not that to be so certain basic things have to be reiterated then and there to make sure that we grow organically that's our motto and we are here to empower each member of district 116 and that's our motto of district also every member matter with that uh, humble note from yours truly let me thank each and every one of you for your valuable attendance here and uh, more importantly our awesome trainer who made every single note in the chat out of box thinking of getting new concepts of having movie uh, a journey race water uh, enlightening and uh, learning today kudos to our wonderful trainers awesome members and amazing district team for organizing such a wonderful event let us pat our back and be back for more such wonderful trainings uh before you all leave let us give once again cheers to our trainers and kudos to district 116 let's do it unmute yourself have loads of fun let our pr take more uh, wonderful captures of all these moments that will be posted <coughs> and broadcasted in the media yes back to you didi or uh, pikiri yeah uh, thank you club director Mangal, you can you can adjourn it. As per agenda, you should adjourn. You can go ahead. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so until we all meet here, let me officially adjourn this fast training of District One One Six. Adjourn. Thank you, Mangal. Um, the meeting session recording can be stopped, please. <laughs>